Now we turn to that battle against the mysterious illness apparently linked to COVID-19 and is making children around the country terribly sick. News Force Melissa Russo, who first reported about the illness in New York, sat down for an exclusive interview with the state's health commissioner, who did share some little known facts. No, I could dance like Michael J. Son. Until last month, Ryan Rodriguez was a healthy kid from Castle Hill with all the right moves from TikTok to the basketball court. But this unstoppable eight year old went from killer layups to being laid up in the ICU in shock on steroids and oxygen to keep him alive. Oh, I had a headache. I just kept on saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, and then I actually wasn't fine. We became concerned with the way that he was breathing. At the time, Ryan's COVID-related inflammatory sickness was still a mystery. Like many children, he was initially misdiagnosed. April 28th, the day when Ryan finally left the hospital, was the same day News 4 first reported an unusual spike in sick children. At the time, local public health agencies were unaware. When you realize this is affecting little kids, and as I said, as a, as a pediatric cardiologist, and I, you know, I looked at this and said, oh my. Today, with 186 New York children impacted, including three who died, State Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker sat down for an exclusive interview. What else have you learned recently about who's being impacted most and why? What we have seen is this is occurring about four to six weeks after uh, the infection. We've also noticed that there is a, uh, um, a predominance of uh, boys versus girls, 60% for uh, boys versus uh, 40% girls. I don't think it's fair that more boys are getting sick than girls, but I want no kids to get sick. Some hospitals tell us they're not seeing as many new cases lately. We have not seen a, a lot of growth of the problem in the last days. Dr. Zucker says it's too soon to say. would like to sort of reserve judgment on that. And the state health department has not responded to repeated requests for a breakdown of cases by county. Almost 41 children come in with this syndrome. Um, up to 90% had some sort of um, cardiac manifestations. At Montefiore Hospital, where Dr. Nadine Schwader was on the team treating Ryan, six new patients were admitted last weekend. And now they've set up an outpatient program to keep a close eye on these kids down the road. We don't know what the long term consequences of having this syndrome um, are on. on, on I feel not as strong as I would before I got sick, no. but I want to get back to normal so I can play basketball again. Melissa Russo, News 4, New York.